Hello, I'm Dr. Man. I'm here to answer your questions. For some women, laser hair removal treatments are worth the big price tag for smooth, hairless skin. Depending on the area and the number of sessions needed, it could cost an average of $289. But if you want to throw out your razors and spend the extra dough, just how safe is it? We got this question from a viewer. Dear Dr. Manny, I have my honeymoon coming up and I've been thinking about getting laser hair removal for my bikini line, but I'm a little worried about the radiation that's involved with it. Is there any kind of link between laser hair removal and cancer? Thanks, Annie. Well, Annie, there are many different types of radiation in terms of cancer risk. X-rays and gamma rays are the most dangerous and are known as high-frequency ionizing radiation. These are types used in nuclear power plants and medical imaging tests like CT scans and PET scans. This means they have enough energy to damage certain cells in your DNA and possibly cause cancer. According to the FDA, laser hair removal uses non-ionizing radiation, so it shouldn't have the same long-term risk. For more, we check in with an expert. As of now, there's no research showing that the light energy from these lasers can cause cancer. These lasers don't cause DNA damage, and they don't cause DNA mutations. In fact, the light energy from these lasers actually remains superficially. It remains at the level of the skin. Now, your doctor will likely give you eye protective goggles to wear during the procedure, and you can expect some redness and swelling in the treated area immediately following the treatment. Now, to avoid more serious side effects, such as scarring or discoloration, it's important to seek out a medical doctor who has an expertise in laser treatment. Thanks, Doc. Do you have a health question? Email them at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.